Hello friends. This is Web's lesson video tutorial series on PHP Ajax student attendance system, and in this part we have discussed grade module edit existing data, in previous part we have already converted add grade data feature of grade module. For this we have moved to write edit data code, for this we have go to grade.php file, and here we have defined grade ID variable is equal to blank value. Below this, we have write dollar document selector with on method, and under this we have write click event, with edit button class edit grade, so when we have click on edit button, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write grade ID variable is equal to dollar this with attribute ID, it will fetch value from ID attribute and store under grade ID variable. Below this we have called clear field function, it will clear all form field. Now we have start write Ajax request, and under this we have write URL option set to grade action.php, it will send request to this file. In second option we have write method, and in this we can define which method we have to use for send data to server, so here we have write post. In third option, we have write data, and in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have define, action variable with value edit fetch, and grade variable value as data has been sent to server. In fourth option, we have write data type and here we have write JSON, that means it will receive data in JSON format from server. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this function, we have write dollar with text box id grade name with value method, and under this we have write data dot grade name variable. After this, we have write dollar with hidden field id grade id with value method, and under this we have write data dot grade id variable. For change modal title, here we have write dollar with id modal title with text method, and under this we have write edit grade, it will change modal title. For change submit button text, here we have write dollar with button id button action with value method, and under this we have write edit, it will change submit button text. For change hidden field value, here we have write dollar with hidden tag id action with value method, and under this we have write edit. Lastly, for pop up modal, here we have write dollar with modal id for modal with modal method and under this we have write show, it will pop up modal on web page. Now we have go to grade action.php file, and here we have write if statement and under condition, we have write dollar post action variable is equal to edit fetch, if this condition true then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from grade table where grade ID is equal to dollar post grade ID variable. Below this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. For execute query, 
we have right if statement and under condition, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, if query successfully run then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, it will return query execution result. Below this, we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar output grade name variable is equal to dollar row grade name variable. Here store grade name details under this dollar output variable. Same way we have again write dollar output grade id variable is equal to dollar row grade id variable so here we have store grade table data under dollar output variable for send this data to ajax request in json format so we have write echo statement with json and code function with dollar output variable now we have check output in browser Friends, first we have refresh we page, and after refresh on web page we can grade data on web page with edit and delete button, now we have click on edit button. After click on edit button, modal has pop up on web page, and under this we can see grade form with filled data, now we want to edit data. For this here we have use same form add or edit data, so here we do not write any jQuery code for submit form data, so we have directly go to grade action.php file. And here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar post action variable is equal to edit, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar data variable is equal to array, with key double colon grade name with value set to dollar grade name variable. And in second key we have write double colon grade id with value get from, dollar post grade id variable, so here we have store form data under this dollar data variable. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to update grade table set grade name is equal to double colon grade name where grade ID is equal to double colon grade ID. This is update data query. Below this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable it will make query for execution for execute query here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method with dollar data variable if query successfully run then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar output variable is equal to array, with key success and value set to data added successfully, so here we have store data under this variable, and it will be sent to Ajax request in JSON format, now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page, and refresh of web page, we can see grade data on web page in data table, with edit and delete button. Now we have click on edit button. After click on edit button, modal has been pop up on web page, and here we can see modal title has been changed and submit button text has been changed, 
and here we can see form has been filled with data. Now we have change, grade name, and click on edit button, after click on edit button, on web page we can see success message like data edited successfully, so here we have seen how to edit grade data, in next part we will discuss how to delete grade data. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.